This is Monty Python! Say hello! I work in Cambridge, I recently moved here and I am... I'm a genomic data scientist! Learning to code is so much fun! Welcome to Genomics with Georgia. This is my introductory video to the channel where I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the plans for the channel, what this is all about, why I am making this, what's my academic career background, and then a mini little get to know me at the end, just so you feel a bit more comfortable listening to this Georgia girl who says she knows something about genomics. So, here we go without with. Grab yourself a tea, a G and T, however stressful you might find this content, and let's dive straight into the first video. So, this video is gonna be bringing to you guys how you can go from wet lab biology into dry lab biology. So, going from doing those practicals in the lab to working with the biological data on computers. It's such a bull. <laughs> So they're so different and they're so connected and yet I feel like there is such a gap of knowledge for undergraduates to learn how to go from wet lab to dry lab so I really want to share with you guys here on the internet how to learn to code, where do you go to learn to code, why not you should even consider learning to code. <laughs> Disclaimer, you definitely should. And I just want to share the resources I've come across, how I made the transition. Hopefully that will help somebody else out there do similar things to what I've done in terms of making that leap into genomic data science. And how did I get here? Well, started off doing a pre-med course at the University of Buckingham, uh, Medi Pathways College, where I learned that instead of wanting to be a doctor, I really didn't like any of the clinical stuff. Um, I was more interested in the fundamentals of how things actually worked and why. So I did that and then I took a year out and worked as a bartender, which was such a good idea. Hospitality is the best thing you can do. Anyway, another story for another time. So yeah, I took a year out and then I started my undergraduate BSc in molecular biology and genetics at the University of East Anglia. Um, I was at UEA for three years, because in the UK our undergraduate degrees are just three years long. So I was there learning the fundamentals of molecular biology and genetics and gradually didn't really know where I was kind of going to go with the degree. I just knew that I wanted to understand how things worked. Um, and then in my final year, I ended up doing an undergraduate research thesis in bioinformatics, which was my kind of transition way of going from the wet lab into completely computational. So I did this biology, bioinformatics research project, which was the best thing I ever did because learning to code is so fun and addictive. So that was such a great thing I did. And then after that, I applied to and was awarded a Genetic Society Scholarship, which I was then able to continue working at the Earlham Institute, doing another research project that I got paid for, which was amazing. Like getting paid to do science when you've been paying tuition fees for years, just is so good. And then after my internship, well, during the internship, I was then just learning more coding and programming and data science skills. And then I was able then to apply and get in for a junior role working as a junior genomic surveillance data analyst. Not that that job title needed any more words, but there we go. And then I was, yeah, I was there for, well, I've been there now for a year and a half. And I've now worked my way up to a senior level. So clearly I've done something right along the way of going from, not gonna lie, a hot mess to feeling relatively confident in the skills I've built up to get to be where I am now as a genomic data scientist. So really wanna share with you guys how I made those little leaps along the way, um, how I found the opportunities I did, how I fostered good relationships, and just share with you guys how you can learn these really cool coding skills and why genomic data science is an amazing field to get into um, that you don't necessarily have to have a PhD to get into either. Um, more on grad school later about my um, personal life I suppose. 
I come from what they call in university a non-traditional background. That just means I'm not normal, I guess. Um, so I grew up with my grandparents and grandparents are not always there for you later on in life. So I had a lot of challenges during my A-levels, during my degree which meant that the degree wasn't always my number one priority. And I'm really gonna talk a lot on this channel, sorry. So I really wanna talk on this channel about why coming from a disadvantaged position or background, or if you have disadvantaged experiences, why they actually are an advantage to you and how you can use them to further your opportunities that you kind of have in life. That's a little bit about my non-traditional life. Um, I also worked full time during most of my degree to finance my life. So I'm used to balancing lots of things and still being able to learn to code and become a data scientist. So that's my non-traditional things. And then in terms of just who I am, who I am, um, I love bartending, so I love cocktails. I love going out to new places, new bars, new restaurants. I love to travel. I'd rather spend my money on experiences than things. Um, I'm very sociable. I love to talk to anybody that will give me the time of day. I'm all into self-improvement books, so probably gonna end up sharing a lot of the books that have really helped me kind of get focused and stop being a hot mess and turn into a scientist. I'm gonna share all of the resources on this channel that I have found super helpful in terms of setting up my life. I think that kind of concludes most of the things I wanna capture on this video. This is just my introductory one. So I'm obviously gonna go into detail on the things I've mentioned throughout this. And like I kind of touched on at the beginning, my area of expertise um, is kind of going from undergraduate wet lab biology into genomic data science. So hopefully at the moment, I'm kind of hoping that the videos I'll make and the content I'm gonna put out there is gonna help people who are right at the beginning of their careers wanting to transition into this field. I feel like that's it, we can wrap it up. Um, I have a cat called Monty and he's always wherever I am. So I'm very shocked that he's not in this video. I feel like I feel like he needs to make an appearance on this intro. <laughs> this is Monty Python. Say hello. Cats are so funny. Okay, where was I? Oh, disclaimer. Um, all of the content I'm gonna put out here is my personal experience of my career and is nowhere affiliated with any of the institutes or companies that I have or will work for. So, FYI. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you want to see. Uh, well, if you want to keep up to date with the content I'm going to put out here, then please subscribe to this channel. And if there's anything that you desperately want to see or know, please just comment on anything and I will do my best to cater the content to what you say. So if you made it this far, thank you for listening. Um, and hopefully you enjoy the content I plan to bring you from my little space on the internet of genomics with Georgia.